We now live in a world where Apple and Android kids can play together. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. No longer will players of an Android game be separated from those playing on Apple's iPhone or iPad. Google made a few changes to the way Android games work. And now, a game could have the option to multiplayer with someone using an iOS device. But that's not the only new feature. There's Game Gifts, which let Android players send virtual in-game objects or currency to other players and even people in your Google Plus circles. In addition, you'll notice 18 new game categories in the Google Play Store in the hopes that you'll discover more games to download. It'll be a few weeks before these changes roll out, but parents will be pleased with a new password feature available now for all Google Play apps. You can require a password to be entered every time someone wants to buy a virtual good inside of an app or game. Previously, if you purchased something while in an app, you could keep spending money for a full 30 minutes without needing to put a password in again. And that made it easy for young kids to unknowingly rack up a big bill, and it led one New York mother to file a class action lawsuit against Google. Microsoft is offering a free version of OneNote to Mac users and for the Windows desktop. OneNote is Microsoft's note-taking application, and it lets you also organize and share information. This is the first time OneNote has been available for the Mac. And before, older versions of Windows had to pay for OneNote as part of the Office suite. But this free version is missing a few features. Making it free will help Microsoft compete against rivals like Evernote. And in other Microsoft news, there's now a 4G LTE version of the Surface 2 tablet. It costs $680 for one with 64 gigs of storage, which is $130 more than the Wi-Fi only version with the same specs. It ships unlocked, but for now, AT&T is the only wireless carrier selling the tablet. Starting Wednesday, you'll be able to tip a Starbucks barista using the new Starbucks iPhone app. The update lets customers add a digital tip to their purchases within two hours of buying something. But you can only tip 50 cents, $1, or $2. And that must be some good coffee for a $2 tip. Right now, about 11% of customers use the app to make purchases in the coffee shop. Later this year, more features could be coming to the app, including a way to pre-order from your phone so your venti mocha half-calf latte is ready for when you walk up. Ain't technology grand. That's your tech news update, but you can get more details at cnet.com slash update. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey. Thank you.